Welcome to our second video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we explain the function working of each sensor in detail. Today, we will focus on mass airflow sensor or MAF sensor. In this animation, breaking it down for beginners so you can understand where it's located, how it works and how to repair or replace it if needed. If you missed the first video where we have a brief overview on all automotive sensors, be sure to check out the link in the description. We are also updating the playlist with videos on the working of all sensors, so make sure to follow along. Let's dive in. First, what exactly is a MAF sensor? It's a key part of your car's fuel injection system. The sensor measures the amount of air entering the engine, which helps the car's computer ECU determine the right amount of fuel to mix with the air. You will usually find a MAF sensor located between the air filter and the intake manifold near the air intake. This means it is in the airflow path so it can accurately measure the air coming in. Now let's look at what makes up the MAF sensor. Inside you will typically find a hardware or film that measures airflow, an electronic circuit that sends signal to ECU, a housing that protects the component from dust and dirt. These parts work together to monitor and communicate how much air is coming into the engine. So how does this sensor actually works? When the engine runs, air flows through the MAF sensor. The sensor's hot wire cools down as the air passes by and the electronic circuit measures how much the wire cools. The more the wire cools, the more air is flowing into the engine. This data is sent to the car's ECU, engine control unit, which uses the information to adjust the fuel injection, ensuring the right mix of air and fuel for smooth engine operation. If the MAF sensor is faulty, the ECU will get incorrect readings about the airflow. This can cause various problems such as poor fuel efficiency, rough idling or stalling, difficulty starting the engine, check engine light turn on. These are all symptoms of a bad MAF sensor. Repairing or replacing a MAF sensor is relatively easy. First, you will need to clean the sensor using a specialized MAF cleaner. If cleaning doesn't work, we need to replace it. To replace it, follow the below steps. Disconnect the battery for safety. Locate the sensor, usually near the air filter box. Unplug the electrical connection and remove the screws. Install the new sensor and reconnect everything. If you are not comfortable doing this yourself, it's best to seek help from a mechanic. You can buy the MAF sensor from most auto parts stores, both online and offline. Make sure you get the right one for your specific car model. For beginners attempting a DIY, always make sure the engine is off and cool before you start working. Use the correct tools and remember to handle the sensor carefully. And that wraps up our detailed explanation of the mass airflow sensor. This is the second video in our series on automotive sensors. And our next video will be about the oxygen sensor where we'll go into full detail on how it works and common issues you might face. Don't forget to check our first video in the series for an overview of all the sensors. There's a link in the description. We'll also keep updating the playlist with more videos on each sensor. So be sure to subscribe for more latest updates. If you found this video useful, give us a like, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more car maintenance tips. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.